Christmas is fast approaching and here in the Euronew studio you can see we're already beginning to look very festive. We're lucky here to be joined by colleagues from across Europe who can tell us all about their own Christmas traditions. And today in the studio we have with us Sergio Almeira of the Portuguese team and Stefania Di Michele of our Italian team. Let's go start with Sergio who's brought this incredible looking cake into the studio. Sergio, what's that all about? So I, I brought this cake because the, you have the, the Portugal is not that big. You have a lot of tradition, Christmas traditions, uh, all over the country. But there's one that it's almost impossible to, to miss in a Portuguese family. You you have here the bull rei. It's the king's cake. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a crown a crown uh, cake where you have a lot of uh, crystallized uh, fruits uh, inside and on the top. And it means it has, there's a meaning. It's, it was it, it symbolized the what the gifts that uh, was was being uh, given to uh, Jesus, uh, the gold because of the color, uh, the fruit symbolized the mirror, and uh, the the smell, the incense uh, that that you, that the, the what it was gave to to Jesus and it's almost impossible to miss it and you have it even here we are in france and in the portuguese supermarket it, it, they have a lot of uh, this bull rei because to celebrate christmas and don't have uh, uh, this bull rei it's almost impossible possible in portugal well it looks absolutely delicious all those wonderful colors including the christmas colors red and green Stefania, in Italy, of course, there's a lot of tradition around food and cakes. I understand you couldn't bring them here today because there's a rivalry between two different cakes and you couldn't bring two. Yes, I couldn't bring two. And, of course, I would like to say that it's nasty competition with the Portuguese <laughs> colleague, but, you know, Sorry, <laughs> for that. I have not the real one. But um, let's get to the point. I, I, I want to say that... Uh, at Christmas, uh, we all love each other more, but we Italian managed to divide ourselves into uh, team supporters, uh, stadium supporters, even on food. <laughs> and for example, uh, Christmas is a family gathering. Uh, it's a, a great opportunity to share a good meal, uh, including uh, the Italian uh, traditional cakes, uh, panettone and pandoro. It's a great dilemma for the Italian families, uh, often split between uh, uh, Panettone supporters and Pandora <laughs> lovers. And uh, uh, on the one hand, you have those who say uh, Panettone is the best, uh, uh, it is closer to the Christmas spirit. And on uh, the other hand, uh, you have the one who said, no, Pandora is, is the best. And for the first group, uh, probably Pandora is uh, too simple and battery. And uh, Panettone, on the contrary, uh, the other group d dislikes the raisins and the candied fruits uh, uh, which bound in the traditional Panettone.